This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. Joining me once again today is the hardest working man in politics, Cliff Schechter. Cliff, thanks for joining me. Uh, you were the first person I thought of when Marjorie Taylor Greene was acting as vile and sinister <laughs> and corrupt and uh, cruel. Yeah, that's a huge compliment. Yeah, well, you thought of me when you thought of all of those things. No, no, no. I guess I didn't finish my <laughs> sentence. Of all the people I could talk to about what I just witnessed, you're the okay. first person I thought of. <laughs> I mean, I am all those things too. So, I mean, you know, it could go either way. <laughs> yeah, but you're you're all those things in service to democracy, correct? Not tearing down the country, correct? As I say, I'm. In, in, I don't know. It's YouTube. I don't want to get you in trouble. I'm an a hole for democracy. That's I can bleep. I, I can bleep. Okay. So, so for those of you who don't know out there, the House Oversight Committee and James Comer's righteous uh, investigation into the Bidens that has gone nowhere and continues, especially after today, it featured a line of questioning from Marjorie Taylor Greene. Once again, Marjorie Taylor Greene has a seat on the House Government Oversight Committee. And she took her opportunity. We're going to get to the clip here. I don't know how much of it you've seen, Cliff. Uh, we're going to get to the clip. But she she took her opportunity to show revenge porn of Hunter Biden. Well, first of all, before we get to the clip, what was your reaction when you learned that this took place? Well, one, how obsessed are they with this man's penis? <laughs> Um, the whole Twitter files thing was because they were very upset that his penis was taken down off of Twitter. Apparently, that was something they needed to see daily. Um, it so, must be impressive. I haven't, yeah. I haven't seen the the raw photos. No, uh, I mean, it, it was it, Republicans this much. It must be just an impressive specimen of a hog. It must oh. be. I mean, it was National Hot Dog Day. You think we? Okay, I'm not going to even continue with that. Um, but two, I thought to myself. Exactly what I think we're going to talk about in this here in general, which is she is just she is a trash can filled with pestilence. She is she yeah. is the most vile, disgusting. I mean, it you know, she's just an awful creature is what she is. And so I wasn't surprised she did this, but but surprised that she would do this. But still, she manages to get me with how just horrible she is. Um, and so, of course, I was a bit a bit surprised. I'm like, wow, on the House floor, well done. Um, that even beats that time at the New York Republican, uh, Young Republican uh, Convention. We were talking about butt plugs and, you know, at Walmart, which was a big thing for her. Well, a big yeah, thing. I, That's important to know where to get your butt plugs. I think what you're forgetting, uh, Cliff, and, I, you know, you've been in this business long enough. It seems odd to me that you will have forgotten. The Republican Party is the party of family values. So why would they not show porn revenge porn in committee hearing on live international television to an audience that's a, a fantastic point all they want are just simple families to get along and get by and follow the word of god and yeah then why wouldn't you discuss butt plugs and show revenge porn on the floor and all the other wonderful things that we've heard about marge her tantric sessions that make me want to hurl um you know, I, just I, like jesus would <laughs> right. As I remember with the sandals and the turn, <laughs> he turned the other cheek. Okay. I'm stopping that one too. Um, well, yeah. Well, let me stop you. We'll play the clip. So everybody knows what we're talking about. And then we'll discuss this vile cruelty on the other side. Recognizes Miss Green for, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Before we begin, I would like to let the committee and everyone watching at home that parental discretion is advised. I would also like to remind everyone that on our oversight committee, we provide oversight into all parts of the federal government, including their Department of Justice and their, their willingness to prosecute and their unwillingness to prosecute and whether it's politically motivated. Um, Mr. Shapley, you, you started an investigation under Hunter Biden, codenamed Sportsman, which opened in November of 2018. Um, it, it was an offshoot of an investigation the IRS was conducting into a foreign-based amateur online pornography platform. Um, this this is evidence uh, Mr. Mr. Of, Mr. of Hunter Mr. Biden Mr. making sex. Hey, excuse me, this is my time. Coming making of, okay. pornography. Should we be displaying Mr. this, Mr. Chairman? Get, 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 in the committee, get a lady's time has expired, and uh, 
with two and a half minutes Mr. over. Chairman, Mr. Bufume wants the two and a half minutes. He can have it if, if he wants to yield some to Ms. Ocasio-Cortez. When she goes, she can have it. We'll make it right. Two and a half minutes. You Mr. all have Chairman. an extra two and a half minutes. Chair, recognize Mr. Mr. Bufume Chairman, for point five of order. minutes. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. State your point. Um, my understanding is that this committee w was provided the suspicious activity reports on the condition that it not publicize them for the reason that they are not actually even allegations, much less evidence of anything. And uh, my colleague from Georgia has now just uh, revealed that, it uh, publicly. That, that, that is a good point. However, that suspicious activity report has been public for years. That suspicious activity report was on the internet long before I became chairman of this committee. So that particular suspicious activity report has already been publicized. Thank you for that clarification. She had said it was part of the thousands she reviewed, but I appreciate the clarification. Public and able uh, that we all uh, reviewed uh, in the uh, Treasury. Chair, re reclaim time. Chair recognized Mr. Bethuma. <laughs> so there's, look, there is a number of things I want to talk about. It has been said time and time again, and it gets proven to be true time and time again, that with Republicans, cruelty is the point. Yeah. Hunter Biden is, has his problems. Being an addict, I'm certain, is no fun. They are, they are exploiting likely the lowest moments of this man's life, and they're doing it for political, what did she call it? It's politically motivated, she's so worried about with Trump, and yet she's doing the exact same thing that she bitches about so much. Yeah, um, the cruelty is the point. And I mean, again, the level that they're willing to go to, you see it with Abbott right now, pushing people, immigrants back into the Rio Grande. You see it with, with, with um, you know, Ron DeSantis and, and during COVID, didn't care. Old, old people were dying. Well, that was the price of freedom. Right. The, the, just the level of how debased they are, how disgusting they are, and that she would do this. Hunter Biden, you're right, has his problems. And Hunter Biden is now going to pay for the, his tax evasion, as Americans should. But Hunter Biden never ran for office. This is all right. about getting at, at you know, President Biden and this guy who uh, was inevitably going to have somewhat of a famous name because he's the son of a president, but they've turned his name into something like an epithet just with the constant attacks on him. Like, how can he even have a normal life in this country anymore? And they just, yeah. they, they, there's no sympathy. They're such sick, just deplorable. Again, people. party of family values. Yes. So th the thing that I, I do want to address briefly before we move on here is a lot of people are talking about how she can be prosecuted. I think she's probably unfortunately covered by the speech and debate clause of the House, which means right. um, uh, during the course of their duties, through debate and speech, things that they say, they can't be prosecuted or held to account for. I think it's a little archaic, and I think it needs to be readdressed. Agreed. But I think there's likely a chance that she could be sued civilly, but whether or not she's covered by the speech and debate clause, she absolutely, without doubt, violated DC code. And I have the subsection Ooh. here. It's section 22-3053, first degree unlawful pub publication. Uh, subsection A, uh, it shall be unlawful in the District of Columbia for a person to knowingly publish one or more sexual images of another identified or identifiable person when the person depicted did not consent to the disclosure or publication of the sexual image. Um, and it's one or more. So right there, she's yep. covered. And the person published the sexual image with the intent to harm the person depicted or to receive financial gain. Now, look, I don't think she's, she's going to receive financial gain unless it could be extrapolated that all of the campaign donations from MAGA morons all across the country that will be pouring into her coffers after this, that could be considered. Whether or not she can be prosecuted criminally, there's absolutely a case to be made. I think it won't happen because Hunter Biden just wants to be a private citizen. But I would encourage, I would encourage Hunter, if you're out there, by chance watching this war. He's watching this show. You know, come on. <laughs> you got like half a million people watching the show. Hunter has got to be one of them. Go yeah, ahead. Let me let you finish your point. Done. No, something has to be done. I'm just, it, it well, is, this cannot be allowed. James Comer doesn't chastise her. It's, it's upon the Democrats, Jamie Raskin, Dan Goldman, to say, hey, listen, come on. Where are we? What is this? Let's have some semblance of decorum. 
And look, I we've talked about this, I think, on your last show. You know, I, I, there are a number of these guys, who, Goldman, Raskin, who've done an incredible job yeah. um, and have changed the culture somewhat of the Democratic Party. where We don't just sit there and take it. You know, the garbage, the lies where they hit back in these committees, they create viral moments. But but I really would have wished that they would have had a, a press conference after that or a quick press briefing. And if not now, then tomorrow, because they should call on as far as I'm concerned. Um, the attorney general, I believe, is the position in Washington, D.C. That's to right. look at prosecuting her. And I think, you know, they, I don't know that they should call on Hunter Biden. He's a private citizen. But, you know, any others that would, you know, would have an interest in in carrying forth this case should. And I would say personally, like you, Hunter Biden should, because if they don't pay a price, they That's again, right. they are cruel, sick human beings, clearly. Yeah. They, there's no guilt, no conscience will stop them. So the only way they stop, as you're seeing with Donald Trump right now, is when the law goes after them. That's what I'm, you mean. I'm, I'm, I'm very bothered by the fact that there's so little consequence for Republicans because of the fact that our side almost exclusively plays by the rules, yeah. sticks to the straight and narrow, and doesn't play these kind of of the games of catastrophe that they're so often playing with one another. I mean, look, I think we've both talked about it on our respective channels and shameless plug for you, not really shameless for me because it's your channel. If you haven't subscribed to Cliff's channel, it, the link will be in the description. Go subscribe to Cliff. He has awesome stuff to say. Um, Thank you. The, the, the fact that Marjorie Taylor Greene right now is considered mainstream by her own extreme colleagues tells yeah. you everything you need to know about the Republican Party in 2023. Yeah, I mean, she's like she's McCarthy's closest, you know, confidant, as I've said before, you know, McCarthy, the the blow dried pucker hole of Republicanism. Yeah. Um, he, he is he is, you know, he as became speaker because she threw her support behind him and got some of the nutters to, to do it. It's one of the reasons they kicked her out of the freedom caucus. Um, so she's allied with him. He has fully been willing to stand next to her and ally with, and be an ally of hers so that he can, I, I don't know, do what he's not getting anything done, but it's power for power's sake. And so she's a mainstream Republican. She is supporting this speaker. And is a close ally. She is supporting Donald Trump. He's the one who has a 20, 30, whatever point lead in the polls in the primary right now. Sick. It's a sick thing, but he's the mainstream of the Republican Party. It led Lisa Murkowski today of Alaska to say, I don't know if normal Republicans are going, you know, I'm paraphrasing, are going to support us anymore because they look at such an extreme, crazy populist, you know, party, which I was shocked she said that. She's up for re-election. I don't know if she's right. telling us something and she's about to get out of the race, but yeah, you said. I mean, Marjorie Taylor Greene, this crazy person who who does these kinds of things, who had somebody interviewing her from Voters of Tomorrow and kicked this woman in the leg while they were walking. I yeah. don't know if you remember when that happened. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Jewish lasers and Satan controls the Catholic religion. And I mean, you know, I mean, she's she's the mainstream. Again, yeah. it says everything you need to know about them. I'm I, I, this moment is is I mean. Every every week something happens where you think, ah, oh, the Republican Party has gone as low as they can go. There's no, there's no, the, they've hit the bottom. They are yeah. rock bottom, bedrock for shittiness, and they surprise me every time with more yeah. and more depraved behavior. It it never stops. You know, they remake that South Park movie. I think it's um, Marjorie Taylor Greene who's hanging out with the devil instead of Saddam Hussein. Yes. Um, I don't know if you ever, <laughs> we can't yeah. get into the acts going on there because then Marjorie Taylor Greene would probably show those acts in committee, yeah. but you get the basic point. She, she they, 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 there is no floor. I mean, yeah. We've said it many times, but, and so it sounds kind of trite, but there's no floor. There's no, nothing they can't sink below. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining me today. Again, I would encourage everybody to go to subscribe to your channel. Uh, I will drop the phone number. I think that we should make this a, a more regular thing. We did it last week. This week, yep. we'll have you back on next week. If you have a question for Cliff, if you have a question for me or a comment, you can leave it in the comments here. You can also call and leave a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can absolutely always email me daily at dollamore.com. Follow me on social media. Follow Cliff on social media if that's your thing. If you, if you are a glutton for punishment, please <laughs> follow us on social media. <laughs>
<laughs> exactly. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go. Cliff, thanks for joining me today. My pleasure. The rest of you, be genuine. Take care of one another.